Hello everyone. We will be discussing about uh, satellite applications. So satellite is used in our day-to-day -day life, uh, helping us to find out the location with the help of a map or helping us to track the uh, flights inbound and out outgoing from the airports or tracking out the vessels in the ocean. And for various applications, we use satellite communications. So in this unit, we will be discussing or we will be just learning about what are all the different applications and how would the satellite communication is working well in order to make this uh, uh, to be uh, helpful for the human in our day-to-day -day life. So we will start with the Intelsat series. First, Intelsat stands for International Telecommunication Satellite. So this was an organization which was created in 1964 and uh, there are more than uh, 150 countries which are member of this uh, International Telecommunication Satellites where the different purposes of the or different applications or different requirements or different assistance that every country needs can be made uh, gone through this international telecommunication satellite community and uh, it's a private private company we have uh, intelsat 1 intelsat 2 intelsat 3 say up to intelsat 6 we have a lot of intelsat series satellites uh, the each of the satellites has been uh, used as an enhancement of the previous versions so I would like to show the video of the uh, uh, website of this international telecommunication satellite. So this is intelsat.com where you can see where it can be used for aviation in order for tracking out the commercial airlines over the sky for governmental agencies, for internet service providers and for mobile network operators, especially for the telecommunication companies. This intelsat is providing the various services which supports their operations. Uh, the mobility of vehicles in the land, uh, the vessels, movement of vessels, cargo vessels or any other uh, commercial vessels that is over the ocean around the world can be tracked in real time with the help of international telecommunication satellites uh, and then uh, for media, for broadcasting, televisions and different programs, we have some uh, professional satellite services which can also be used for this international telecommunication satellites in order to track down the weather and other important uh, details which the human actually requires for our day-to-day -day life. And we will be talking about or we will be discussing about INSAT. INSAT is Indian National Satellite System which is one of the largest domestic communication satellite system in the Asia Pacific region. So INSAT we have a different series of satellites which was launched into the space uh, in the INSAT program. Uh, it, it, it just began uh, in the year 1983 and uh, recently we have some uh, GSAT-17 which joins the constellation of the INSAT system which consists of some 15 operational satellites over the space starting from INSAT 3A we have till INSAT 18 and we can even track down the real-time operation of this INSATs which is over the space. So the INSAT systems they used to have some more than 200 transponders which are extended in C uh, I mean, which, which are used in C-band, C frequency bands, or the frequency band, which is called as extended C, or KU band, uh, which provides the television broadcasting purposes, which provides the application towards uh, news gathering, which provides the application towards uh, weather forecasting, which may be very helpful for the agricultures and the, and the fishermen, and which is also used in disaster warning and rescue operations, search and rescue operations, uh, in the remote locations of the nation. We will also be talking uh, about very small aperture terminal system. They, this very small aperture terminal system is an earth station antenna which has been uh, less than uh, 2.4 meter in diameter and uh, you know this smaller dish antennas can be used over the terrace in order for receiving the television signals uh, or for some various different uh, satellite uh, signals which can be provided for telecommunication operators and other uh, you know like uh, banking applications for uh, hotel financial or airline booking so these kind of people so the commercial peoples the commercial groups will be using these very small aperture terminal systems uh, for receiving the satellite signals and uh, the signal the system will look like this you can see the picture on the left side we have a GSLB that is geostationary satellite uh, over the space which is providing a link towards the subscriber dish. The actual signal is being sent by the internet uh, you know uh, 
by some high capacity link it will be provided to the service provider service provider will be launching uplinking the signal into the geostationary satellite and geostationary satellite will just regenerate the signal and send it back towards the subscriber dish subscriber will uh, receive the signal and process the signal in their local office it may be a commercial office which is belongs to any type of device or any system and you can even see here on the right side how the satellite how the hub station is being connected with the satellite and how the link is being provided for the different vsat remote sites in the globe around the globe thank you